Tervetuloa jälleen kerran takaisin arvon katsoja, että ne pelaajat kominnää. Haastattelu Piina Penkin pariin. Tällä kertaa meillä paikan päällä siis Mitch Mann, irlantilainen selostaja tuolla englanninkielisen puolen talentista. Uh, how are you doing, man? Not too bad, not too bad. Lovely to have you on our couch. Uh, that came out wrong, but I hope it's... Uh, in any case, we're, we're grateful for you to uh, have taken, taken time off and uh, yeah, doing this interview to, with us. Happy to be here, happy to join you. I've heard it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's... Um, Of course, silly in a way. I just interviewed Dinko, and we all have the same thing in common, having casted uh, Nessa. Uh, you did it in the same year as I did, so me... Uh, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Were you there, or did, did you no, cast it no, online? No, it was, it was done from online. It was probably okay. my... I think it was my first event that I ever cast, uh, right. like that was Liquipedia-worthy anyways. Wow. Well. I mean, not a bad, not a bad uh, tournament to Good start scene with. Good to start it in. Yeah, exactly. At least not in uh, you know the Finnish point of view. <laughs> But yeah, uh, just to um, touch up uh, a little bit on your knowledge as well about the Finnish teams. We spoke a little bit about Habu and SJ and Ens. Mm -hmm. So altogether, how acquainted are you with uh, the Finnish CS:GO scene in general? I would say not as well now as I was back when I did Nessa, uh, for sure. But. I I feel okay about my knowledge. Okay, so I'm gonna regret saying that. Uh, do you, uh, well, <laughs> I, uh, do you still have like um, an idea where most of the like top teams stand on uh, HLTV rankings? For example, Hubble, they're around uh, top 25, a little bit under. Oh, that, that's higher than I would have thought. I would have thought they'd be around 40 to well, 30. They've so. had a good streak lately, so okay. they've been rising a little bit. But uh, SJ, of course, uh, now having benched Jampi. Mm. Uh, You casted them previously, correct? I think Yampi was probably the the first player I took note of. I, I'm pretty sure it was in Nessa. They all because it was a while ago. They kind of blur, but I'm pretty sure I saw Yampi at Nessa, and he was really impressive. So he definitely made an impression on me moving forward. Okay, uh, would you have anything to say about the uh, the current situation uh, for SJ Gaming, having benched Yampi mm -hmm. and everything? We of course touched upon this with Dinko as well, but uh, if you have anything uh, to add. I think it's a really hard one uh, when you have, I mean, there's always going to be the, the possibility that, like you were saying, maybe his friend was playing on the computer, th this sort of stuff. But I think it's a really, really tough decision to make when you look at players that are, have been previously banned, have been banned. How long do you get a match fixing ban for, for example, um, although not relevant to Yampi. It's, it's a little bit disappointing. I. I think he's a really good player. I don't think I've ever seen him do anything that I would have said he was cheating for. Uh, so I, I hope I hope it gets resolved for him because I'd like to see him back playing. Yeah, hopefully he'll keep playing. Uh, at least I'm personally a really big fan, and uh, mm -hmm. a young player going to waste that's always a shame. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to Finland in itself, uh, how well are you acquainted with us and our culture, so to speak? Uh, I think I watched an episode of Travel Man on it. Uh, okay. That's that's about it. <laughs> so I know I know uh, very similar to Dingo's knowledge of you love saunas. I think you've got like eighty percent or something of people uh, of households have saunas. Yep. Something huge like that. Um, I is it Finland that has some sort of winter activity where you stay inside in your underwear drinking? Yes. Yes. This is called Kalsarikan. <laughs> yes. This one. This so, one. <laughs> basically, what, what it means, literally, is uh, well, you already describe it. You stay home in your underwear, uh, you know, drinking yourself into a stupor. But uh, basically, uh, if you don't want to go out with your friends uh, mm -hmm. to a bar or whatever, they can suggest. Mitä uh, voisit tulla tänne ja juoda kalsarikannit? Hey, do you want to come over and drink kalsarikannit? And then we just, you know, well. In you Ireland, can... we also invite our friends over to our house to sit in their underwear, but it's I mean, <laughs> not for drinking. Well, of course, it's it's mostly for you know staying in by yourself, <laughs> drinking yourself into a stupor. <laughs> yeah, we're weird like that. I know it. <laughs> uh, Of course, we touched uh, touched on this uh, with the previous uh, previous question. But uh, mm -hmm. do you have a Finnish player that has uh, caught your attention in you know the entirety of uh, CS:GO, the history of CS:GO, that you would personally uh, uh, put as your favorite Finnish player? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I mean, it, to be honest, if I was to think of a Finnish player, mainly because of the up and coming aspect, it probably would have been Yampi. Um, it, 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 as I said, it was a name that made a, an impression on me very early on in my casting career. I ended up following them quite a bit as well. Um, 
So I, I guess I guess I'll I'll roll with him and just send my love to him. <laughs> Definitely a lovely guy, but now we've come to the stage in the interview oh, no. that uh, I'm gonna have you. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, three questions for you, and uh, yet again, it is the uh, salted licorice challenge or salmiaki challenge, as we would say in uh, Sal- Finnish. Salmiaki. So basically, Dinko was a real champ. He ate from every single bag. I know. With uh, they're in varying degrees of hotness and um, bitterness, but. Uh, You'll only have to pick one if you get all the questions wrong, but we'll see. You can choose. Okay. But um, I'm going to ask you some uh, Finnish CSGO-related questions yet again. Okay. So, we spoke about SJ Gaming. You may have we heard did. about Jampi, but have you heard about their second opera? It's the same name. Zarta. Well done. Yes. Excellent work. <laughs> I knew this. the knowledge of the Finnish scene would pay off eventually. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Okay, so another easy one, I would assume, at least. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I ask you first? Did I pronounce Zarta right? Is it Zarta? Uh, it, yeah, pretty okay. much. We, we say it uh, with a harder X because uh, our pronunciation for the X letter is more like X, X as you may notice. When Zarta. I, yeah. Okay. So uh, the vowels, um, well, you know what? Let's not go into yeah, grammar. Yeah, yeah, understand. yeah. So it's Xarte for us. Xarte, okay. Yeah. What is Sonny's? Full name. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I I barely I forget most people's names that I meet. <laughs> remembering full names. Uh, this is of course intended to be easy for our Finnish speaking viewers, but it's yeah. gonna be a, a bit more difficult for you. So it's mi kempi. Okay, that was actually easier than I thought it would have been. Yeah, it's one of the easier names, so that's why <laughs> I tried to. Uh... It threw me a bone, and I still got it wrong. <laughs> okay, so for the last one, we had a similar question for Dinko. Uh, mm-hmm. How old is Ariel? Oh man, like 19? You know what? I would have probably said 19 to 22 myself as well. I didn't know this before I checked it. He's my age. He's 26. Really? I know, right? He looks damn young. He does. He. I, I was judging that off profile pictures. Oh, fair enough. I mean, good for him. Mm, definitely. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's found the, um, the secret of eternal youth, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you got uh, two car- two questions wrong, so I'm at least going to have to ask you to uh, try one of the salted licorice uh, okay. brands. Okay, well, I, I I will say I made a deal with Dinko that if he ate all three, I would eat all three. And unfortunately, he followed through. I thought, you see, I thought after the first one it would deter him, but he just kept saying he liked them. So <laughs> I don't know if that makes me more nervous or less nervous. So the order, what, what order was it we went in last time? Okay, so... This one is uh, the most classic one, uh, like the stuff that our parents would eat. And okay. we would find this in the apothecary back in the day, like 1930s, 1940s. Okay. And it's based on like the old medicine stuff. So this is pretty mild. Uh, okay. I'm not feeling too well now, so this will help. Mm, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can just have a taste out of this one first. The Super Salmic is a little bit more hot. And uh, actually, uh, there's a couple of different ones in there. So okay. We'll see which one you get. Oh, they're all different flavors. Well, not not so much. They're a bit less chewy or more chewy. It's oh, okay. pretty much the same flavor. Okay. Yeah. I mentioned to you before that I hate licorice. <laughs> Just normal licorice. Oh God. Mhm. It's licorice, all right. Mmm. How would you describe it mm. to uh, people who haven't had the? Not good. So, not good. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Aside from the fact that it's more chewy, it's very similar to normal licorice, this one. Maybe even sweeter, but I usually spit licorice out, so... Right, it's more like the aftertaste is getting mm. sweeter, right? Oh, it is, yeah, yeah, the more I chew it. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the same with every single one of these, so they are... It's like they do have some sugar in them, and they do get sweeter the more you have mm. it, or the more you uh, chew it, or... It's much better after chewing it. Yeah. Much more bearable. <laughs> mm. And they get worse. Well, slightly worse. I, I mean, the difference between uh, Super Salmiakki and the regular Salmiakki mix is it's not that big, to be honest. But when you get into Turkin Pippuri, <laughs> that's kind of a niche thing between Finns as well. So most of us don't even like this. There's oh. like a 50-50 split, I would say, in Finland. You either like Salmiakki or you don't. Mm. So. Okay. And then most people who do like it, they, they do eat Turkin Pippuri as well. Yep. You are ready to uh, step onto the next level then? Okay. 
Let's go for it. It's getting stuck everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that, that tends to happen. <laughs> a... Okay, let's take, let's take the next one. So what's... What, this one isn't a medicine. No, no I mean, never a medicine. they're all based on medicine. They're not actually okay. medicine. It's, it, 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 they are sweets, after But all, if I but... eat enough of them, I might get better. Yeah, I get... Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> That's my excuse. That's why I'm putting on weight. Mm. Okay, so it looks the same. That's yeah, there's the a similar one in the uh, mix bag, but this is a little oh, bit okay. different. Yeah. Okay. So as you may notice, it's a, a slightly more chewy as well. This one. The yeah, Sonic. from from the start, it's chewy straight away. Yeah. Mm, very similar, like you said. Mm -hmm. So, from having tried the mix one and Super Sonic, which one would you prefer? I think probably the super. The super one. Maybe it's because I'm more accustomed to it now. Yeah. After the start, the start because I don't like licorice as a shock, yeah. and then yeah, then you get a little more used to it. Yeah, I guess for most people, uh, it's like the initial shock of salted licorice is is kind mm. of kind of a turn off. But once you do get into it, it it is pretty mm. nice. I was very nervous because I saw an episode of I think it's Travel Man uh, where they they went to Finland. And they, it was definitely trauma. And they tried salted licorice as part of it. Right. And one of them was like dying eating it. He hated it. Maybe he picked up the, this one. I won't try to pronounce it. I'll offend everyone watching. <laughs> Turkin pippuri. Yes. <laughs> what you said. But yeah, I think most people who try salted licorice, they describe um, like a chemical-ish taste. That's because uh, it is like originally based on ammonia and it kind of replicates mm. uh, similar. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a chemist, but... <laughs> Fair enough. But I can see it. I can definitely see the kind of chemical thing to it. It's, not, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I guess it's just the initial shock. Mm. But... We're heading towards your last challenge, mm -hmm. Turkin Pippuri. As I mentioned to Dinko, you may want to hold it in your mouth for a while, and then after a while, you crack it with your teeth, and okay. then there's a powder inside. All right. Yep, I've, I've heard of this. This will be... Oh, they're, they're similar in uh, texture, anyways, the sweets that we have at home. Um, I think they're normally filled with, like, a, a syrup uh, on the inside, or, or indeed a, a powder of some sort. Yeah, I think maybe the manufacturing process is similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, glossy on the outside, kind of sticky. Mm. I would say Ooh. maybe between it's between Turkin Pippuri and Super Salmiak for me. Mm. Uh, so that one's bad. Mm. Yeah. Uh, From. Mm. Yeah. That, All right. It's not so much the classic taste of Salmiak. No. That's a, a little bit of a shock. I wouldn't even say it tastes like licorice. <laughs> mm. So you want me to you want me to bite it? I mean, it's yeah. your choice. You want me to you bite can. it? Okay. Because it's already spicy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. That's hot. That's a little bit hot. A little bit of a tickle. I'll be honest. Well, the funny thing is, uh, me personally, I'm not mm. very good with hot foods or spicy mm -hmm. foods. But when it comes to uh, licorice, I can handle me too. a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Feels fine. Let, let's get you some, wa some water as soon as possible. I love this. No. <laughs> where can where can I buy it? <laughs> is there a website a discount code maybe? Mm. Anyway, Mitch Pat, thank you so much for uh, taking time and being with us here it's today. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Tämä oli siis Mitch Pan, englanninkielistä talenttia täällä Maltan turnauksen puolella. Palaamme jälleen kerran pelaajat kontentin taas kanssa tuossa tuokiossa.